All right, I'm here with Dr. Wade Clapp from Indiana University. Uh, Dr. Clapp, could you kind of discuss your involvement with the Children's Tumor Foundation, what you've experienced here at the conference, and a little bit about the Gleevec trial that's going on in Indiana, as well as your new involvement with the NF Preclinical Consortium. Thank you very much. It's a real pleasure to be here. I've been uh, coming to this meeting uh, since the late 90s and uh, have been involved in neurofibromatosis research since I started collaborating with Kevin Shannon and, I, and uh, Tyler Jackson in the mid-1990s. Um, our work over the past several years has uh, really focused significantly on the uh, development of uh, neurofibromas and particularly the role of inflammation in the development of those tumors. And we've done that work in uh, collaboration with s several labs at Indiana University, particularly mine, Finchon Gang, David Ingram, uh, and uh, our colleague, Dr. Luis Parada at UT Southwestern. And basically what we have shown is a uh, key role of inflammation and particularly the uh, CKIT pathway um, as a key instigator uh, in the genesis of plexiform neurofibromas. We recognized uh, when we uh, completed those mechanistic experiments in a preclinical model of genetically engineered mice um, that there was a drug already on the market that targeted uh, CKID as well as some other um, inflammatory mediators that in other studies we had found could also be contributory to tumor formation. Uh, that drug is uh, imatinib uh, mesolate or known by its trade name as Gleevec. Um, we, uh, in an initial uh, proof of concept, a case for a little three-year-old girl that had an inoperable plexiform neurofibroma that was impinging on her airway and um, uh, treated her with uh, Gleevec and that tumor shrunk uh, very significantly. We've, uh, based on both the preclinical data in uh, mice and that single case in the little girl, um, we subsequently have initiated a phase two uh, clinical trial for Gleevec, which we've now completed and um, was presented at the uh, American Society of Clinical Oncology meetings. Uh, last week uh, is being presented uh, here Tuesday night by Dr. Kent Robertson and uh, will be submitted for publication shortly. Um, we think it's a very exciting um, early uh, set of studies. Uh, there have been a number of important things that we've learned and importantly at least some of the patients seem to be improving like that initial case. Uh, and um, I think what we have learned from this trial will help propel us to the next generation of trials. Uh, and also help us in um, the process that we've used to identify the drug. Uh, we can also replicate that process to identify other drugs, which is what we're very excited to be doing, um, both our lab and Dr. Parada's lab, um, in uh, uh, collaboration with the preclinical consortium. Excellent. Hey, John. You want to cut that part out. <laughs>